Um, I often say that philosophy is, is science fiction without the fancy dress. Philosophy is the exploration of the most important, the most fundamental questions uh, that humans ask. So what is reality? What is life? What is the meaning of life? <clears throat> um, what is true? What is beauty? What is knowledge and so on? Um, and often you do those, you explore those questions by positing um, alternative worlds. Uh, Daniel Dennett calls them thought pumps or intuition pumps. Um, and other people call them thought experiments. What Kurzweil did was to make a very convincing case that it was possible that we would create a, a machine with all the cognitive abilities of an adult human, so an artificial general intelligence, uh, within my lifetime. And that that machine would then continue to be improved and would become a super intelligence. Uh, the, the economy of radical abundance in which all goods and services are effectively free because we have brilliant AIs, machines of loving grace, machines of great efficiency and, uh, and, and power and nanotechnology and 3D printing. And so all products and services are essentially free. Uh, longevity escape velocity being the point at which um, every year scientists add a year to your life. So you'd never actually get any older. And then eventually they rewind the damage. They undo the damage to your cells and uh, you get younger. And then eventually we upload into, into computers and go off into Kurt's files, uh, not utopian, but um, glorious future. That'd be great. I, I believe that we are heading into two singularities. Um, the first one is what I call the economic singularity, which is technological unemployment. And the second one is the more common, the more well-known one, the technological singularity, uh, which is about superintelligence. It seems entirely plausible. A, a, a superintelligence would be able to alter its state of mind because it may not have emotions i mean we don't even know whether a superintelligence would necessarily or in practice be conscious um consciousness may be a very bizarre byproduct of of the human uh route to intelligence um we think it's the most important thing about us but other intelligences may think it's quite weird would you know may, maybe a superintelligence would have all sorts of wonderful emotions um or maybe it would have none who knows love to be around to find out I just hope that we manage to create the first superintelligence, which I believe we will do. I think we'll create a superintelligence. And I, I, I just hope we make sure that it's very friendly and really likes humans and wants to solve all our problems and then wants us to join it. If we get it right, if they get it right, then we will become post-humans, um, something much more than human. We, we are going to have to decouple income from jobs um, in the next generation if machines do uh, take over all, all the human jobs. But the cost of creating some sort of weapon, whether it be a pathogen or uh, a, a weaponized AI, is becoming affordable. I think either we all get to the wonderful post-human world, which includes great longevity, or none of us do. I suspect it's binary like that.